couple of apple trees. Cedar is ornamental too. So we got two of the holes started and we got another one underway. We have scarred our grandmother, the earth, by digging a hole. And so today when we put that tobacco down, we give thanks for our grandmother for allowing for that to take place. And at the same time, we ask forgiveness for doing that. But by doing that, we get to put life back into that and bring new life, to carry on new life again into the future so that these young ones will have that place for them. And from these ones, there may be other ones that will take place and grow again. Would any of you like to put some seam on, some tobacco? Down in the hole, oh, just take a little pinch, Bungi, have to... Yeah, you can put some of that down in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's enough for everybody. There you go. There you go, there's a little shishigan of it. Make sure you guys don't get all dirty. Oh. Who cares about getting dirty? Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Dad can wash clothes, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> or you could wash the clothes. <laughs> One of our long-term goals will be to establish um, some uh, species to be determined. <laughs> That, that the Sioux tribe is interested in, um, hopefully establish a population on Hiawatha National Forest land um, for gathering purposes. Um, in the short term, we're, we're going to be collecting seed and just understanding uh, what each other's goals are. So. Hello, my name is Nicole Shutt, and I'm the biological science technician down in the Lakewood Leona Ranger District of the Chiquamagan Nicolay National Forest over the border of Wisconsin. Thank you so much for inviting me here today. Um, my duties are mostly wildlife related and habitat related, but uh, since 2004, I've started to help uh, begin a native plant pollinator program on the forest. Um, I keep that going on the district, work a lot with the local schools, get kids out there, and one of the things we've been doing is turning the lawn at the schoolyard actually back into early successional native plant habitats where the kids collect the seeds in national forest land, they grow the plants in their classrooms, they install them, all the while learning about respect and how important it is that we all work together. So thank you so much. Um, Leona, Wabino, and Crandon, also a little bit at Goodman Armstrong Creek and White Lake. Hello, I'm Melissa Simpson. I'm an ecologist on the Shawamigan Nicolay National Forest. I cover the Eagle River Florence Ranger District, which was usually it's Florence, Forest, Vilas, and Oneida counties. And I do, like Stephanie said, we do rare plant management, invasive plants, um, pollinators, and restoration. I actually studied pollinators in graduate school and have an interest in them personally. I'm doing a butterfly workshop on monarchs on Saturday at the local garden center. Um, one of the big things I do, and all of you hopefully know what a cooperative weed management area is, a CWMA is something the Forest Service has really taken to heart and taken a big lead on forming. It's just getting all the land managers and local interested folks together in a room to talk about plant management. I know that all the tribes in the UP have access to one, and I actually talked to some of the Menominee folks here today, because we're going to be talking about forming another mm -hmm. one down in uh, south central Wisconsin. But if you guys are interested, the Forest Service is a great contact for getting involved with these. Ian Shackelford is the big one for the Ottawa. I know the Keweenaw Bay community may be involved with one up there. Um, we've, I work with the Lac de Flambeau tribe and also Forest County Potawatomi and the two cooperative weed management areas I work with. And it, they're a great resource of expertise because you've got everybody who's interested in on the ground work, native plants, controlling invasives, and a lot of education. So we work with a lot of teachers and go into classrooms and talk about all of these things. So, you know, we're the Forest Service. We do a lot of different things and it's really nice to work with all the tribes because they bring a whole different expertise in and it's so nice to see that you guys usually have natural resource managers in your tribes as well. So, thanks for letting me come here today.
Oh, no, no. This helps it to keep it from getting root bound so that it will spread out. Do you smell that medicine? You guys smell that? That's good.